Hello, my dear Scorpio. How are you? How are you doing? Welcome to your reading. This is Sada from Sada's Tarot, Scorpio. This reading is going to be for our Scorpio singles, although if you felt drawn, very well it could be yours. You don't have to be single, okay, for it to resonate. And I'm doing monthly giveaways, okay, sweet February readings. If you would like to have one question reading with me, which is going to be free and up to 10, 15 minutes. All you have to do is like this video, be a subscriber to my channel, and also in the comment section down below, write, I am blessed or I am eternally blessed. Okay. Or you can simply just leave a heart. Um, and let's, let's get it. Whoop! You guys, so many cards. <laughs> let's put them back. For Scorpio, let's see. For Scorpio singles, What's happening here for our Scorpio singles? Ooh. Feline, integrity, right order, and power. You're really stepping into your power, aren't you? Let me see what's going on here. I like this energy, to be honest with you, you guys. We've got a lot of shades of yellow, as you can see in your reading. Speaking of confidence, power, mastery, experience. It's beautiful. I feel like you're no longer pleasing anyone anymore. Okay, that's very clear to my eyes. I feel like you're going to be really in control of your life. And there's an energy of you stepping into your full power here and no longer also trying to stay in situations that just don't do it for you. You know, something I'm hearing, you're not lying to yourself or fooling yourself anymore in regards to something. Maybe you're seeing something for what it is and moving forward. But to me, it almost feels like there is a more sense of self-respect than ever. Like, I feel like you really are respecting yourself. And I don't know if you heard me say, but people treat us the way we treat ourselves. So it could be that you are realizing you are to be really respected and loved for who you are. And I feel like you're really also allowing connections that are respecting um, people that are really refined, people that really see your value and add to your life. You know what I mean? Definitely there's an energy practicality and this has been coming through in all of my readings, you guys, for singles. And it's interesting. Now I'm going to be doing your Terra Scorpio. You could be connecting with a fire sign, Libra, some of you, Scorpio, water energy as well, Cancer, Pisces. You could be connecting with a person who's really organized. I don't know why I'm getting that. Or maybe it could be something that you're manifesting for someone to be stable and organized. For someone to be disciplined. You know, it's like they say they're going to show up at this time and they will. They, you know, say they're going to, I don't know, come pick you up or do this and they will. You know, this is not a flaky energy I feel slipping through. For Scorpio. going on two coins wow and we have the moon at the bottom of the deck you could be letting some connections go scorpio is something i'm hearing right off the bat i don't know why i'm hearing it it could be that you're feeling as if some connections are just not worth it anymore or like they you might have been feeling held back from a particular energy or feeling like someone is kind of not necessarily reciprocating what you're giving to them, okay? I definitely feel like there's a new you, you know, there's a sense of new identity here coming up into the picture for you. It feels to me like there's a new chapter here that you're um, entering in within your life. Some of you could be getting a pet or the energy of pets could be really good for you, okay? I also feel like you could be really getting busy with your work. Make sure that you're not overworking yourself here. Now, when it comes to, for some reason, some of you I'm hearing really pay attention to the signs or red flags. And that's something also that I feel like you're really aware of. I feel like you're no longer rather being skeptical about those signs, you know, and you're making the better choices and decisions. For yourself maybe you're going with connections that feel more stable to you people that make you happy 
Spirit, could you tell me in regards to what this energy is stepping through for Scorpio? Who is this energy? The Tower and the Eight of Wands. Why do I get this, you guys? You could be getting a lot of attention from a lot of people, but at the same time, I feel like... I don't know if you've been still feeling lonely or this also could be speaking of it's not quite as deep as I want it to be. Okay, you might have been feeling like, you know, a lot of people show a lot of interest or like they come in really strongly and then it kind of dies out. Or maybe that's kind of the pattern you've been noticing in your connections. But yeah, I do feel like you're going to definitely be creating space for something solid in your life, you know, and again, we have the energy of yellow, you guys, it's very interesting. And this is going to be happening once you have a sense of self respect and self worth, when you're no longer going to be scattering your energy or giving it away to people that just waste your time, people that just like, don't know what the hell it is they're wanting, or, you know, which direction they're taking. Um, you could be also getting a lot of attention online, Scorpio, but I feel like you're, I don't know, I keep getting this energy of you are going to be more than ever focused on yourself and what is that you want, but no longer on what other people want, you know, and that is such a pleaser, um, characteristic, you know, when someone is a pleaser, they're always looking out, okay, how can I make this person happy? But do they make me happy, right? Um, okay. Any future actions towards Scorpio before I do love messages? Is there a person and when are they coming towards Scorpio? Yes, there is a person. The lovers. High Priestess. Cancer, Gemini, Energy, Virgo. Look at that. Look at that heavenly card. Water energy. I feel like this energy is just around the corner for you to be on a Scorpio. There could be a person who really is interested in getting to know you more and more. It's like they ask you questions, they're curious about you. That's how you're going to know that this person cares, by how much they wonder about you. you know, maybe this is the type of person they text you a lot or they ask you how you are how you're doing um you could be meeting this person online or maybe someone travels maybe someone does work online okay but something with the energy technology here is coming through maybe someone's self-employed but i keep wanting to tell you that don't you know label everyone as to blame you know because not a lot of people are superficial that's not at all true it's just a matter of you actually focusing on what it is that you want to manifest and you will manifest it. You know, you've got all the tools to manifest this energy in. Beautiful. Okay. Some of you, I'm also hearing that be open to dates, like to going out more. I don't know if you've been rather isolating yourself or you've been really busy with your work, but I'm hearing that going out could be really good for you because... You know, once you actually try to see, okay, what is out there for me? That's when you're going to figure out who is really the one I want. You know, if we never try, we'll never know. Yeah, I see really solid offer here coming in. Some of you, in regards to um, when this is going to be happening, I'm getting one to six weeks this could be, okay? This could be also February happening. March and some of you I'm hearing May as well. Any love messages for Scorpio Spirit? Do we have? Yeah, why do I keep getting this energy? You might have been really overworking yourself, Scorpio, or you could also be prone to really prioritize your work. Maybe some of you in your maybe some of you in a recent connection you felt like someone was really busy and they were not making time for you okay so perhaps you're now going to be manifesting someone who does make time for you you know and there are people who does that i don't ever believe that someone can be busy all the time i just don't believe in it i feel like it's an excuse you know if someone were to say that they're busy they're gonna at least reschedule you know if you two were gonna meet but if they just every time say they're busy, definitely it's an excuse. I'm just going to break it to you. 
I don't believe someone can be busy all the time. I mean, what does it take? Like a second, right? To get in touch. Anyway. Any love messages do we have for Scorpio? Yeah. Some of you are going to definitely see the signs. And, you know, there could be a connection coming in that's really true and genuine. We have soulmate energy. It's going to really open your eyes to see what true love is or how someone really cares for you is going to actually open your eyes as to what you've been settling for so far. You know what I mean? I feel like you are to really feel safe in your connections and feel also safe enough to be vulnerable to someone. And, you know, maybe the reason why you have been rather feeling hurt or isolating yourself or not really getting out there much is because you haven't been feeling that safety you know with anyone so far and i feel like finally there is an energy that's coming through within your life that's going to really open your eyes and um <laughs> really show you what true love is even because i feel like some of you, you could really have like wrong beliefs about love you know because of past experiences or maybe traumas who knows do we have any angel messages for Scorpio Spirit? The person you're connecting with, somebody, the person you could be connecting with is very wise or they could be very intellectual. Like something intellectual is coming to my mind. Maybe they really stimulate you. Maybe they have a lot of knowledge or they're kind of nerdy. I don't know. Maybe they give you tips, you know, or information when you need it. Maybe they help you. Any angel message? Okay. Okay. Oh, a happy change. Your angels have heard your prayers and have banded together to create real and joyful changes in your life. Events begin to move forward and great progress will now be possible. You may need to make some rapid decisions due to the suddenness of activity. Be confident and trust the guidance you receive. Yep, changes are coming, and some of you I'm hearing love is just around the corner. I'm channeling the song Help is Just Around the Corner by Coldplay as well. There could be messages for you. I feel like you're truly getting out there and seeing, you know, there are all of these beautiful opportunities or connections that could possibly make me happy. And what am I waiting for here? You know, there's no time to waste, so to speak. I'm going to just pull you one more card since we have the soulmate card, you guys. I'm going to use my... Um... <laughs> new deck here for you it's not really new i've been having it it's just it's very rare that i use this deck but i feel this need to um pull out some cards here for you for scorpio spirit for our scorpio singles do we have any messages that scorpio needs to know okay let's see we've got two cards already oh when it comes to matters of the heart, there is no right or wrong. Every choice you make expands your understanding of life and love. Wow, interesting. Um, so the spirit here is telling you stop blaming yourself from decisions that you've made so far. You know, maybe you're really in your head about, oh my God, I was, you know, hung up on that person or, you know, I couldn't let them go when I really had to. I settled for such thing for so many years and the spirit here is telling you, hey, it's an experience. And now, guess what? You're a different person and you're more powerful. The experience which you have, you know, had is going to help you to make better decisions. And trust me, you know, when someone has not been through so many hardships, they usually are not going to be able to make the best decisions in their life, you know? So definitely see it as a strength here. We also have this beautiful card. The past is now behind you. Release it and embrace new possibilities. Wow. A new path is now available to you. Follow it with faith. Okay. Such a beautiful card, you guys. So the spirit here is saying that it's time to open your wings and descend. Level up. Okay. And there's definitely a beautiful new path for you here available. We have so many wing energy, you guys, as you can see. I love this for you. Really, Spirit here is telling you that you're being protected and guided and um, that you're also, you know, a heavenly energy, a heavenly person with a loving soul. And you're meant to be 
respected and loved in your connections. So this is all I have for you, my dear Scorpio. I hope that this helps you. Such a lovely reading, very peaceful. Do like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you here with me. Okay, also you can follow me on Instagram and subscribe to my new channel to get stuff for more content. Okay, I'm going to do pick a card readings there as well as more ideas that I'm going to share to you. I'm sending you my kiss, my warm race and my love and light. Bye-bye, honey.